Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good on, so Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting, and we're here in the Hermitcraft Christmas Village. That's right, we have a beautiful Christmas village here, ready for all sorts of awesome builds, and a season's greetings to you all. And let's get right into it. So, that is Azuma's massive snow farm over there, which, oh my gosh, I wish I had that in my survival world. But let's jump over here into our project area. So, as you can see, I set up a little base camp over here, and I'm super inspired to create a Christmas tree farm. That's right, a beautiful Christmas tree farm with a red truck and a Christmas tree eye off the back, I think would be really, really cool in this area. But in today's episode, we are going to start with our cabin, and this cabin is themed to Christmas, so it's kind of a cabin in the woods themed to Christmas with a snow roof. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing, and I really do hope you guys follow along. So I was doing just a quick bit of testing before we started, just kind of color paletting out, and this is themed towards kind of a cabin that I had when I was very, very, very young. Uh, our family kind of had a cabin in the woods of California, and it was just amazing to go there at Christmas. So. This is themed to that. Now, down here, I want to show you guys this really quick before we get started. Derp is hard at work. It's something in there. As you can see, Bob the Creeper building inspectors are just dismayed with whatever's going on in that building. But if you know it's Derp, then you know something awesome is taking place in that building. But let's get started here. And as you guys can see, I'm perfectly well organized. Just kidding. <laughs> Always disorganized the start of an episode, wouldn't be the same. So as you can see, we're slightly elevated all the way across. Now the reason I've done that is so I can place down a block right here. So that is our first block. And as you can see, if you're following along, you can have air under here or just a little bit of dirt block. But just make sure the house is elevated by one block. So then we could do a little bit of a foundation all the way around. And it's totally optional. If you don't want to do the foundation, it's perfectly fine. Just place it right down on the ground. But if you want to do a foundation, lift it up by one block and let's get started. So from this block right here, we're going to go all the way down to 11. Bam. We have 11 looking super awesome. Now from this block all the way over to here, we're now at five. So one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then from this block all the way down to right here, that's 12. And you guessed it, all the way down to there, that's another 11. So from that one all the way to here, that's 11. And then from here all the way down to there. So from that block to this block, I believe that, what is that, 12? Because that was 12. It should be parallel. So it should be parallel with that one. Once again, that's another set of five. And then from this block right here, this is all the way down to here. That, of course, is 11. And once again, it should be parallel to there. And that's a set of five. And you guessed it, another set of five. And all the way down to here is 11. So 11 and to five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So very cool. And then one, two, three, four, five again. And that leads us to where we started. Looking super awesome. So from this block right here, what we're going to do is we're going to go. So this is one, two, three, four, five. And then what we're going to do is we're going to extend this out. Well, I need to have a little steak first. So we're going to extend this outwards and we're going to go all the way to down here. And I want to show you guys kind of the basic design. So we're just trying to get the structure done. And once we get the structure done, then we can get into the details and story time with Scar and all of those wonderful things that uh, we enjoy around here. So as you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to put this up here like that. And all we're going to do is we're going to start building these blocks like this all the way across the house. So just fill the entire place up with stair blocks and this little pattern of our spruce or our dark oak here. And we're going to extend that out. And of course, five and then connect that all the way together. So. That's kind of the cabin design. I think it's going to be super awesome. So complete that. I'll complete it and we'll meet back right here. And there we go. We've got our structure ready to roll. And how'd you guys do so far? Good? That's great. I'm glad to hear. So let's get going. And in this little section right here, we're going to start the doorway. Now, now that we have the structure, you can kind of use your own imagination if you would like or just follow along what I'm doing. Um, but, uh, you know, you can decide if you want the door directly in the middle, do you want it to the side or to the left? Uh, you can definitely, definitely choose whatever, ever you want. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to grab out a little bit of spruce wood here. And I'm going to kind of build up these edges like this. And I'm going to step back in just a second just to show you just about a little bit more of the detail. There we go. Awesome. All right. Let's back up a little bit. So doesn't this look like kind of a, like a dark chocolate shell of candy? And then in the interior, we've got a little bit of milk chocolate and we kind of broke it right there. Kind of made you hungry, didn't I? I did. I did right there. <laughs> so as you can see, I think that's looking oh, it's looking decent. What I'm going to work on now is our window. So I'm going to kind of open this up a little bit. And uh, like I was mentioning in the beginning, this is kind of themed or at least the idea of it was to a cabin. 
that we had as a family, and uh, we went through it quite a bit during Christmas. I thought I heard a creeper. I did hear a creeper. <gasps> he blew my entrance up. <sighs> blew it up. <laughs> Why do these things keep happening? Creeper hole repaired. That was not the first time, by the way. <laughs> you guys just didn't see the other 10 times. All right, let's get back to work. This Christmas village has a seedy, darker side to it. I will tell you that. All right, so back to what we were talking about. Uh, it was a Christmas cabin that we had, or it wasn't so much a Christmas cabin, but it was a cabin that we uh, would go to. And boy, oh boy, the trips to that cabin during Christmas time were always the best. Now, they would start out with us, you know, getting there late at night. So it was late at night. And without doubt, the uh, plows, you know, the snow plows had forgotten to come to our house. Of course, of course, the driveway had like three, four, five, you know, some huge amount of snow piled up, especially as a kid. I thought it was like 50 feet deep anyway. Well, it wasn't. But as you can see, that is the basic design. So I want to try a couple little more things here while we're talking. And the uh, so the snow plows, of course, didn't come. So my dad would work his way through the snow and up to the door and then he would get the rest of us and as we went through there we'd walk in his footprints and these footprints went down a good three feet so you try to like hobble your way through the snow and then getting inside it was always freezing like absolutely freezing cold inside and I'm not really selling this as great times right <laughs> but it was it was it was an adventure it's, it's an adventure not all adventures are warm and cozy yet um, but uh, once you get inside, you get all your blocks picked back up. There we go. Uh, once you get inside, you know, start warming up and oh boy, those times were great because boy, there would be a lot of snow, especially in areas where snow plows had like consistently, you know, plowed. So there would be banks like as high as this house right here, just huge, absolutely amazing. And living in like a fairly kind of urbanish area, um, going out into the mountains and seeing all the snow was always such an amazing kind of highlight to see all of that. And I don't know about you guys, but do you ever see kind of feel uh, like a peaceful nature to snow? I know most people like Scar. There is no peaceful nature to snow <laughs> for people who live in the snow a lot. For like places in the mountains, especially, you know, and got the fir trees just packed to the gills full of snow. And uh, when you go outside, there's just this really, really calm like nature to it. I assume that maybe it's the fact that the sound waves are being kind of dampened by all of the snow. Um, I don't know, maybe not. Um, but all I do know is that um, I, uh, oh my gosh, like when I go out in the snow, like I, I love it. If it's not freezing and especially into the woods, there's just this really, really peaceful nature to it. And that's what I always remember, especially from uh, the cabin was that that really, really, really quiet um, sound. And well, <laughs> unless the uh, snowplow goes by. <laughs> but one awesome thing with the snowplow would do is especially if you go in, you know, a couple, you know, have the snowplow come in a couple times during the winter. And eventually you would have like a 30, 40 foot, like giant mound of snow at the end that you can make a fort in. And uh, so we'd make like forts and I was always the low man on the totem pole in that because uh, as like the youngest of of my brothers, um, I would always just get all of the <laughs> I would take all the brunt of it. So my I would get the snowballs, the ice and all that stuff thrown at me. So creating little forts always never really worked out for me in the end. But uh, I remember these just giant ones and you could kind of sled down the hills a little bit. Um, but look at that, my friends, that is looking super snazzy. So as you can see right here. I'm going to put that down like that and sneak that right there. Looking good. Look at that. So the window, I'm trying to create like a frosty, you know, design to it. Like the kind of the edges are slightly frosted. And then right about here is kind of just like normal glass. You know, it's just it's not all the way frosted up and a little bit of frosty on that glass. I think that looks super, super cool. So this basic design going all the way across is what I'm going to do. See these columns right here? And I'm just using those so I can place down the gates on the edges and I'm placing those back down, cut those out. A little bit of lag there. Um, but as you can see, this is kind of the basic design and I wanna carry this design mostly throughout the entire house. So you can kind of choose where you want your windows here or there, um, but you just use this basic design and uh, it'll serve you very well. I guarantee you that. And I'll place that down like that. Look at that window. That is a snazzy looking window there, my friends. All right, so it looks like nighttime and the impulse doesn't want any sleeping because they're still up to something. Oh, look at them down there. <laughs> they are up to some derpy shenanigans. I can tell it right now. Look at them. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm going to start uh, adding all the columns on all these sides, just like we did in the front. And I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. And there we go. Look at that foundation coming together around the edges. See how important it is to elevate the house by one. And then you can create that beautiful detail with the andesite, the polished andesite, a little cobble, a little smooth stone, even some stone bricks on there. Looking very good. But it is now time to work on the roof. So my least favorite part of any build is the roof. So what I've done to try to ease that is do it in dirt and it makes it so much easier that if you notice a problem right off, you can quickly knock it out and redo it so that you don't lay down all the blocks and let's just get right into it. So along this corridor here, so we're in the front, you should have something very similar to your front of your house right here, these two pieces intersecting. And I put down this dirt pillar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start placing our blocks along here. So they're gonna go all the way up to there. So let's start over here real quick. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then over here, then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it should be around 17 or so. And then just repeat that process, just down in all of these little corners like so. And over here, all of the corners of the house, like I said, you're just gonna start pulling these up. So something I was thinking about as I was kind of going along here, buzzing out all of the stone around the edges, was that the cabin that inspired this, we didn't have, you know, YouTube, we didn't have the internet, we didn't even have a computer there. It was just peace and quiet and hanging out and playing games and stuff like that. That's pretty cool, really, to think about how much things have changed uh, since then that we bar we barely even had a TV back then at the cabin like it was like a VHS player didn't really work that great and uh, It's just kind of cool to see how much the world has changed From our time now till then this isn't that long ago that we had no internet out there No cell phones anything along those lines um, It's just kind of cool to think of uh, how far we've come and also remembering to kind of step back once in a while and to kind of let the calm come back it goes back to the snow we were talking about how snow has that kind of calming effect a little bit and to me anyway when you go out and it's just silent um it's also good to kind of let all those buzzing and things to the side the phones the buzzing the beeping the push notifications all of those things um yeah i don't know i uh i just find that it's um uh, very cool to kind of let that go a little bit as much as I love all of those things as you guys can see What we're doing is we're just going out each block just one block farther and then just wrapping it like that uh, just to kind of let it all go for a little bit and uh, And just enjoy life a little bit sometimes being engrossed in, in a phone and a screen um, Sometimes you miss things and as much as I love those things. I never want to give them up Sometimes it's good to give them up for just a little bit, not not a lot, just a little bit. And I think it kind of makes your life a little bit more healthy because I don't think humans were kind of, I don't think we were made to be constantly inundated by, you know, notifications and things of that nature. We kind of have to recharge our brain, if you will. And let me know if you think the same way. Um, but uh, as you can see, what we're doing here is we are pulling our blocks together and we're just kind of flowing this across. So as you can see, we're always remembering to keep one block above this and then one block pushed out. So one block out and one block above this line right here. And if you follow that line, you are golden, my friend. Well, that's a scar mistake right there. <laughs> you are golden. So I'm gonna finish up the roof and then we're gonna start on our snow. All right, you should have something very similar to this looking super awesome. So one thing I'm gonna do now, remember how we kept this back one? I think I'm going to, I don't know. I don't think I'm actually going to. I was going to extend it out by one block, but uh, I kind of thought better of it, I think. I think we're going to, you know what? I think we are. I think we're going to extend this out one block. So see how it kind of locks in right there? I think we're going to bring this out one more block like that. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect these blocks right here. I was just looking at it. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. So you should have something very similar to that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to just build up our edges like so. There we go. Build these pieces up. Now, what I want you guys to do is once you complete this side, what we're doing right now, uh, we're going to do this on every other side. So back there along that side over there and you guess it over there too and so we'll get those done and i think it'll look really really nice once we do okay so what i'm going to do now is i think i'm actually going to cut out these blocks right there 
and I'm gonna cut out this one too. Just going back and forth with the designs. So many little things go on in my head when I'm doing this. Like some's pre-planned and some's kind of free-flowing, trying to come up with the design on the go. And that's why you just kind of knock out blocks here and there. If you don't like it, just knock it out and try another one. Okay, so we got that basic design done right there. So what I'm gonna do now, so I'm gonna have this guy go all the way across here like that. And I like that design. I think that looks actually pretty cool. I'm actually gonna remove that and replace it. Yes, yes, like that's pretty cool right there. Okay, and then if I can take my glass, so I'm just gonna put that right there. Glass goes up like so, and there we go. How does that look? How does that look? I'm gonna use this as scaffolding to back up just a little bit. Looking pretty cool. Now, like I said before, I want you guys to do this design on this side over there and on the back. So this is what Derp was working on. We got a little snowman back there shooting the zombies with cookies. This is the most intriguing and mysterious thing I have ever seen on this server. And welcome back. And as you can see, our roof is assembled and ready to go. And I'm super, super happy with it. So let's take a land right here. And as you guys can see, we have updated to the new snapshot between our last uh, clip. And we can now launch ourselves via fireworks, which is pretty darn cool. Now, as you guys can tell, I made a couple modifications to the roof by adding this extra window built within the roof line. I'm not 100% satisfied with it. That's why I'm not kind of showing it really too much, you know, just building it because I'm not satisfied with it yet. Um, I might keep it, I might not. Um, it's very simple, just in the center of the roof. Um, just made a little window here. It's one, two, three, four blocks in the center and then two columns on either side. And as you can see, then I kind of just tapered up the roof like that. So half slab, half slab, two half slabs, and then one half slab downwards and then just Two right here and then one down there and it just meets up with the roof. So as you guys can see from the side, they're super, super simple. But uh, I don't know. I'm just not 100% satisfied with it. I'm going to try a couple other little details there. And if we don't get it today, I'll uh, work on it again. So next thing we're going to do, and this is really, really fun. We're going to start at... There goes my way home, by the way. <laughs> anyway, as you guys can see, we're, we're just adding some snow blocks on the top of the house. So all the way across we're gonna be adding snow and it's gonna be so amazing to look at from a distance with all the snow up here. And I think it'll look really cool and unique uh, kind of house design. Now the question I have is, shall I make this go all the way across the roof? So the snow covers every inch of this roof or do it spot, you know, it's little spots here and there, like a little snow drift here and there on the roof. I'm leaning towards the entire roof, but uh, if you guys are building along with me, what did, what did you choose? Let me know on Twitter. I want to see pictures of your house. Did you just do it a little bit on the top, a little bit of just a snow carpet design around? Um, or did you decide to go like this, all out, full block design? So if I have any, I have one rocket left. <laughs> I have one rocket left. Let's see what this looks like. So we'll make a little turn like that. And I like that. I think that looks really nice. I think we're going to keep doing that all the way across. I think I'll do one layer on top of here. And I think this will look cool. So I'll see you guys once I get all of this down. All right. I was just attacked by a creeper and a whole mob of zombies. I thought I cleared them all out. And all of a sudden, a zombie is approaching with a full set of diamond armor on. This is absolutely crazy. I have never seen this. This has to be a downed player's armor for sure. But uh, let's see what we get out of this. Potentially, potentially we might be able to see if these were named and give them back to their owner. If we can actually kill this guy, he is super powerful actually. And this guy is, wow, he is strong with this armor on. Okay, did we, what did we get out of this? Did we get anything? Oh, we didn't get anything back. Ah. Oh. Maybe that's a new thing in the snapshot. Maybe some zombies have diamond armor that's been enchanted. And welcome back and look at that beautiful roof line. That is looking stunning. As you can see, I decided to leave more of the roof than I originally was hoping for. So I kind of had it all the way covered and I just wasn't feeling it. I just really, really didn't like the particular design. So let's fly up here real quick and you can take a look at this. So I wanted to leave a little bit more detail. So on the very top block, so this block right here, this was originally the, the last block of our roof. I decided to add one row of dark chocolate logs all the way across. And I think that looks really, really cool. 
And as you can see, I used a ton of snow carpets along here and just really smoothed out the snow. And I think that looks very, very nice and far more realistic. And I think the best side of the house is actually on the very, very back over here. Oh, geez, too much speed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I probably made you dizzy. These things generate a ton of speed. But as you can see, I think this actually looks the best of all of the sides. Very, very nice, very, very realistic. And yeah, I really hope that uh, inspired you for your own Christmas cabins in the woods. Now you might be asking, Scar, why is there a giant creeper hole? Well, this Christmas village has a very dark side and it comes out at night and it is, it's not a pleasant thing, my friends. It is not a pleasant thing. But in our next episode, we're going to jazz up the interior. We're going to add that forest that I keep talking about. And yeah, I very much hope you have enjoyed and this inspired you and also, I want to wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you in the next episode.